Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, this is a bit of a different video. Um, I look horrendous, that's the first fact that you're gonna learn about the start of this video. Um, and second of all, I'm gonna do a bit of a get ready with me. So I'm really hoping all the setup, looking at my viewfinder and whatnot, the lighting is better in this video. I'm gonna die if it's not better. So I know the last two videos have been super bright and I'm so, so sorry. Um, what I thought I'd do is, I might show you this setup in a second, makeup everywhere. I thought I would just do a really casual get ready with me. I'm sorry you've had to see me in this state. Um, it's taken me a while to do one of these because I just feel really self-conscious at the moment. I have some spots here, I have a big spot here. And, you know, putting that out, out on the internet is somewhat terrifying. <laughs> but, I'm human and we all have those days and weeks where your skin isn't that great. So I'm just going to do a really casual get ready with me. I'm going to share with you some of the products I use. Um, little disclaimer, I'm by no means a makeup expert. I love doing my makeup, but that doesn't mean I'm any good at it. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe. But instead of rambling, I'm going to get ready. And it's also kind of a vlog style because after this, um, I'm getting ready to actually go somewhere. This is just not a set up YouTube get ready with me. I'm going out for dinner at Rosetta, which is a really beautiful restaurant in Crown here in Melbourne. If you're from Melbourne, you'll know, and from Australia, but internationally you might not know what it is. It's a really beautiful Italian restaurant. Um, it's down on the Yarra. Um, so yeah, I'm going there with my mum and my godfather who's out from London and I can't wait. I also thought I would share with you in this video what I brought yesterday at Cheston. Um, so let's get started. So I always um, put a bit of the Mario Badescu, um, what's it called? The Mario Badescu facial spray. And also my camera's been playing out, so I'm sorry if you are not seeing these products when I put them close up, I will list everything down below and I apologize if that is the case. But I always spray this to start with. Also Alfie is here in the back and I've got my peanuts under it and I know it's three minutes in, so I'm just gonna start this. So. A lot of you have been asking about this, but these are the By Terry Cellurize Brightening CC Serum. So now I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you both of these. Um, I hope they focus to some extent. Um, but they, I first saw these on Lydia Elise Millen's um, channel, which I'll link down below. She's a big kind of UK YouTuber, um, and she always uses this dark one, which is the Sunny Flash. Now she's super tan compared to me. I have really fair skin. So I got the one before that, which is Apricot Glow. Now I find these a great products, but I do, sorry, this is gonna be a really long video. Um, these is probably the only product I'm gonna talk about, so a lot of you have asked about this. Um, this one I've been using quite a bit in summer, because it's summer here in Melbourne, and it's quite good when you want to be tanned. However, this one I use more just on a day-to-day -day basis. So what I'm gonna to do today, actually, let me do a Rebel, and I'm gonna mix them together on my hand, which I don't, I usually just apply them straight to my face, but because I'm mixing, I'm just going to see, this could backfire because the dark one is, like to be honest with you, a little bit dark for me. Now I've just got this Jaclyn Hill palette and that's what I'm going to be using. It basically just primes, um, it primes your skin, but I'm actually going to go back in, I brought a little towel so I'm prepared. <laughs> I am going to go back in and just use the light one because I'm not that tan today, so there's no point sugar coating that. Um, so yeah, what's everyone been up to? Um, I love, these kind of videos are really daunting to me. Um, it's a bit like live stream, I guess, where I don't know what I'm really meant to be saying. Anyway, I'm also going to use, sorry, I'm going to try not to ramble, this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation, not foundation, primer. I don't usually use two products, but um, it's very hot today. It's over 30 degrees and I'm quite red. So I just want to tone down the redness with a bit of color correction. Okay, and now <laughs> let's get started. I'm also going to use the By Terry, Terry Willis Denseless Foundation. Now, if you watched a few videos um, back, you will know that I wasn't sure about this foundation and I said I probably wouldn't repurchase it. For some reason, I've been using it a lot and I've fallen in love with it. I don't know what's happened, what's happened to me, but I'm really, really enjoying it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna get a few pumps on my hand. Sorry, I'm new to this, so if I'm looking in all the wrong 
directions. I apologize. Um, so I don't know if anyone else does this, but and I'm now going to use the Artiste Oval Brush. Um, but I always now I look crazy as well as just weird. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to blend this in with this. And I've just realized there's bronzer on it. Damn it. Sorry guys, I'm probably going to look a little weird because this actually still has um, high contour with this as well. I need to buy a new one. I'm just being poor and I don't want to buy a new one because they're so expensive. And I don't know if anyone else have with an Artiste brush. Mine has snapped before. Snapped. Snapped. Sorry, it really infuriates me when you have a, you know, a 60 or $70 brush and it decides it's a good idea to snap. So I always want to do inside my, um, like over my eyelids as well, because otherwise I feel like I have really pale eyelids. And into my ear. I'm trying to wear less makeup at the moment, <laughs> especially because it's summer, so I thought if I wear less makeup. You know, this is going to be a really long rambly situation. So then on my neck, so I don't have a white pale neck, everyone's going to be like, what is she doing? Um, I put a bit of this NARS um, one, NARS Santa Fe Sheer Glow, because I don't want to use the super, I'm not saying this is cheap, but I don't want to use this super expensive foundation, that by Terry one's, you know, over $100 to make my neck more blend in. So I am going to just do it with my fingers. And yeah, I'm going to get makeup all over my, <coughs> all over my, um, night dress. I always feel like, oh gosh, sorry guys, this is like really aggressive way of doing this. I've now got a little red neck. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is now put all these little foundations away so we're not going too crazy. And I'm sorry for, I'm really hoping the lighting's good on this, it's stressing me out. Okay, so the next step I'm going to use is this Instant Anti Razor by Maybelline, which a lot of you will have seen. I kind of just like dab a time under there and I've got a spot there which is not very hygienic and I can't find my other concealer so I'm just going to use that and to blend that in I'm going to use this Dior brush which is actually a foundation brush but I can't find my concealer brush. I mean I'm doing a great job aren't I? I'm not used to doing my makeup on the bed. So you're all going to be happy to know that what I got at Chanel yesterday was one of the items on my wish list which I know You've probably already guessed what it is now because I only had one item from Chanel on my wish list. So I'm now going to use the Hourglass um, Trio, or the Sunset Trio, and I'm going to use the bronzing shade to just do a bit of a contour, which is coming off really dark. Anyway, so it's something that's on my wish list. Wasn't the ideal colour for summer, what I've got, but I absolutely love them and I'm so excited to wear them because, of course, I'm going. Europe for summer and there's still quite a lot of summer um, in Australia left. <laughs> so I only um, I only contour my cheeks because yeah I don't know really how to do the rest. <laughs> and then I also use this you're probably like what the hell are you doing that brush must be screwed. I'm gonna use the blush. Put that in. Oh it's such I used to be really scared to use um, cream products because they just kind of daunted me, but now I find them so much easier. Um, what's everyone's favourite product to do all their, like what's your favourite makeup product? I'd love to know, because um, as you know me, I love going in shops and buying all these to try them out. And most of the things I use nowadays have been recommendations either from all of you watching or from other YouTubers, and yeah, that's great. So now I'm going to use the oh which one do I what bronzer should I use guys Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow or the NARS Laguna hmm I think I'm gonna go for a bit more of a natural um film star bronze and glow with the Charlotte Tilbury so oh I can oh I'm a bit dumb I used this um hourglass brush the other day to apply fake tan don't ask I do do that with expensive brushes not normally but this one is so good to apply fake tan with. <laughs> Are you thinking I'm weird yet? God, this mirror is filthy. So I'm just gonna do a bit more. Just do, just take off my top. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Obviously not, guys. So then for highlight, I'm going to go back to my Hourglass Trio. I am obsessed with this. 
And I'm just going to dab this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which I usually use for foundation. <laughs> I'm doing a really great job here. The highlight that this gives, I just find out of this world and I just can't live without it. I don't know if you're going to see that on camera. Also, if you can hear noise in the background, my mum's in the next door room. And when she's on the phone, she decides she needs to scream to everyone. She's not actually screaming at people, but she just talks incredibly loudly. Also, my hair looks crazy because I have already curled it. So I thought this video would be like 50 minutes long if I showed you all me curling my hair. Put a bit on my nose. Okay. So I'm actually not far off being done. Because I, as I said, this is quite a simple makeup look. So I'm just going to set this now. This is a different hourglass brush and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish. Well, it kind of just blends in the um, highlight because it's quite extreme sometimes. Might not be that extreme on camera though. Anyway, so now I'm going to move on to brows and I'm using the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil, which is my absolute fave. It has this little brush on one end and it has little, you know, nib nib? I don't know what it's called on the other end. So I always raise my eyebrows, don't ask. <laughs> so that is my brows done and I'm just going to use the Naked Smoky palette to do a little bit of a highlight onto the brow. I use the shade High. It's actually Hit Pan. Who hits pan on these eyeshadow palettes, seriously? Um, and it just, oh wow, that glow. It just kind of highlights, because I haven't got um, the most arched eyebrows, which I want. <laughs> Unfortunately, my face isn't shaped that way. Um, and now I'm going to use Dirty Sweet, just to cover the lids, and I'm not doing anything else. I just wanted something to kind of define. Oh god, that was a really ugly face I just saw in the viewfinder. Sorry guys, sorry. I really don't think that was a much better face. <laughs> um, so now what I'm going to do is apply some mascara. So for my top lashes, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And the Travel Size, which is my favourite. Um, I don't know why, but... I find the big one really hard to manoeuvre. I'm just opening this big mirror up. Okay. It is probably my favourite mascara. Sorry if this is really bland. I'm not sure what to talk to you guys about. I get like, I'm concentrating so hard on doing my makeup. Um, I also went and saw that Gucci bag that's on my wish list. Um, I didn't get it because I need to sell a handbag before I get that. That's my new rule for the moment. Don't know how long it's going to last. Okay. So then for my bottom lashes, because they tend to, what's the right word, run or smudge? They get a bit smudgy. So I try and use a waterproof, um, Great Lash Waterproof by Maybelline, which I think is a bit of a cult one. Um, oh my god, I'm making weird faces again. Sorry guys. And I'm going to be wearing a top. I can't see, I can't multitask. How do people multitask? And I'm always so impressed when I see these videos because I just don't understand how it's happened. Okay, I've done that now so I can now talk to you. So then what I do is I put on some bubble gum. I don't know what it's called. It's from Lush. I like have to do that before I put on any lip products because my lips get so makeup y. Let's dry it, washing my hands a little bit because I don't want to be up and down washing my hands. So then, once I've done that, I kind of rub off a bit. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter, the setting spray. And it's about to get really crazy. I probably should fast forward this too. <laughs> Wait. Round two, it is 35 degrees outside, This it needs to be done. So what I'm going to do to also finish this 
is I'm just gonna put a little bit more bronzer around my neck because the dress I'm wearing is a summery blue color. Ooh, there we go. Um, it's a summery blue color and I just don't want to cut off where I'm, and it's like a v-neck. You'll see it. You'll all have seen me wear it because it's one of the few dresses I wear. Um, I'm just looking at my makeup thing thinking have I done everything? So I'm not just gonna put, that's a lie. I was about to say, I'm not gonna put my lipstick on yet, but I am because it's, I've actually done this quicker than I thought I was gonna do it, which is a good thing. So I don't know, I haven't, I don't really want to take my hair out because it's not ready yet. But, so you kind of get an idea. I'm looking at the viewfinder trying to see. Okay, so I'm gonna go fix my hair because I know it's not great, um, but, I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing me do my makeup and I am now going to get dressed and head to Rosetta and I'm going to take you with me. So I've just realised I forgot to show you what was in the box. So here we go. Just going to quickly share with you guys. I'm sure you've all guessed it. But there's some beautiful Chanel espadrilles in the navy leather with the black toe and I'm obsessed with them, but now I am going to finish getting ready um, by putting on my clothes and taking you guys to Rosetta. So we're just on our way to dinner. Mum, do you want to be in my vlog? Do you want to wave? This is Mum's first appearance, everyone. Are you going to wave? She's not waving. <laughs> so I think we're going to collect Mickey. I I'm think not sure. are we are. we going to collect Michael? Yeah, from Park yeah. Hyatt. Yeah. Um, he's staying at the Park Hyatt. Um, and then we're going to go to Rosetta, so I'll see you there. Rosetta and this is the menu. Such a nice day. So nice. So yeah guys, I'm kind of thinking, I don't know what I want. Hi guys, so I've just come to end my vlog. I know I didn't show you much of the restaurant and what we did and what we ordered, but it was just really nice to enjoy that with um, some family members and I didn't want to film everyone, so that was really nice. I had such a nice night. <clears throat> Ugh, can't talk, I've got a frog in my throat. Um, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Give it a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. I know I didn't show you that much. Um, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. Can, if you're from Australia, can you let me know your favourite restaurant in Melbourne or Sydney or wherever you're from? And also, anyone around the world, can you let me know your favourite restaurant? I do so much travelling and I just love trying out new restaurants. I have been to Rosetta before, but I was slightly disappointed tonight with it. Such a great rest restaurant, like great spot, but like food took a little while, too long. But it was, the food was amazing. Um, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.